All right, Che Goodbye, you've waited about long enough. For those of you who don't know, my name's Bobby Gaines, and I've been doing these little Mountain Dew taste test things for a while. Started with Mountain Dew Whiteout, tried Voltage, and several other flavors, with varying results. And, well, my number one fan who put me up to this, Che Goodbye, is a big fan of Mountain Dew, and always thought it was weird that I never tried, you know, the first variant, one of the popular ones, Code Red. So, mainly I didn't try it because I thought it would suck. But, all kidding aside, and I'm filming this inside of a car, so I don't know how great this is all going to go down, but uh, Mountain Dew Code Red right now, I'm going to get it over with. Yummy. Actually, it doesn't smell as bad as I thought it would. You know, maybe I won't drink this. I don't know. Yeah, all right, fine, I'll give it a shot. Fair. I really like... I actually, and maybe I said that too fast, because I, I did have to think about it. It wasn't like it sucked, but it also wasn't like, wow, this is great. It's actually not that bad. Uh, I don't know, it could be one of those things like Supernova where it grows on me, because I actually, I liked Supernova off the bat. I don't love this off the bat, but it's not bad. Let me try another sip. A lot of these are pretty inconclusive. That's why I kind of stopped doing them. Mountain Dew taste test. Like, I had Baja Blast on one, and I really didn't care for it, but I've had it since, and it tastes a little better. Maybe I just got a bad mix. This tastes... Well, actually, I mean, to be honest with you, it doesn't taste at all like I thought it would, which isn't a bad thing. But it tastes a lot different than I thought it would. It doesn't... I can't explain it, but it doesn't quite have the same Mountain Dew type of carbonation to it. I don't know what it has. It almost has, like, a Sprite kind of taste to it, but with... The cherry isn't as strong as I thought it would be. I know I sound like I'm some great food critic right now. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I know Shay Goodbye likes me to rank these things and say if they're good or bad or whatever. I've really got nothing here. This is pretty tolerable. Like, I will finish this bottle. I don't know if I'm going to buy it again. I might buy it if my only other choice was Voltage, because that is, like, the worst thing I've ever had, and it has not gotten better any time I've tried it or even looked at it. This smells better than Voltage, tastes better than Voltage, um, obviously not as good as Whiteout, not as good as Pitch Black, not as good as Supernova, I don't think. Um, Supernova, I kind of knew off the bat I liked it a good deal, and this I might like over time. I just, I don't know, it didn't wow me, but it also didn't disappoint me, so I'll give it a solid, like, I think comparing with Baja Blast would be fair. Like, I think Baja Blast is okay, and I think Code Red is okay. Um, actually, I'm probably more likely to get Baja Blast just because I go to Taco Bell sometimes, so I might get it for the novelty of it, whereas Code Red, I'm usually going to get the original Mountain Dew or Whiteout, so more just kind of the availability of it. Code Red is everywhere, so I'm kind of tired of it, to be honest, but as far as cherry sodas go, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I'll give it like a 7 out of 10 if I had to guess. It's fair. It's a bit positively surprising, but that's because I thought it was going to suck, so it didn't suck. So, yeah, check this out. It'll be online pretty soon, because I'm just going to upload it from my iPod. There you go, Shake Goodbye. God, I hope they come out with a better flavor.